Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist, and in this short pinning video, I'm going to go over how I pin grasshoppers and orthoptera in general. So here, I caught a couple of Melanopolis differentialis uh, in the yard, and it is time to pin them out. Um, so here just got a nice grasshopper the lays there and everything so uh, pinning grasshoppers and katydids and crickets is straightforward and easy like pretty much all other insects um, so got the head the thorax and then the abdomen um, this uh, plates right here between the head and the start of the wings here is called the pronotum. And that's where you want to pin uh, orthopterans. Um, so, you can kind of see it on this specimen right here. But if you can see that ridge that goes down the middle, that is called the median carina. Um, and Pretty much separates the right side, the carina, the ridge, and the left side. So in grasshoppers, you always want to put the pin through the right side. So about right in there. So I'm going to go ahead, put the pin in. You can see. It's on the right side of the ridge, on the bottom part of the pronotum. Right there. And you push it through, you want it to be nice and perpendicular. Um, now even I, I try and make them make it as straight as possible, but even I sometimes fail on that part. Um, but you want it, you want this pin as straight as possible. Um, put it up. And then put it down right there. So this is the part where um, people diverge. Um, many people like posing their insects to make them look more natural. Um, so you do by doing that you just like take out the hind legs and uh, use the pins and position the legs how you want them. I'm just doing this as an example. You got like the front legs, pull them out, all that type of fun stuff. Um, kind of make them however you want so like they look natural um, because my collection's big and I have a lot of specimens and stuff I pin my specimens to help save room so I used to pull out the hind legs I don't anymore um, So kind of like that. I keep my, I try and keep my specimens like um, to take up as little room as possible, but still kind of look nice. Still look nice. Um, so I might pull the legs out like this, or I might just keep them locked up underneath. But that's basically how I. Uh, in my grasshoppers. So most grasshoppers, as the ones you see here, have uh, wings. Like right, so. And uh, for many species, in the band winged uh, um, grasshoppers, for example, 
you would want to pull the wings out. Um, so we're going to show you an example right here. So this is uh, that's the second way or another way to this uh, pin grasshoppers. All the same steps, uh, steps as I did before, but as you can see, I pull out the wings and keep the wings out spread and let them dry like that. Um, I do the right wing. Other people do do the left wing. Um, if you want it to look nice, you can pull out both wings and spread them like a butterfly like that. Um, Pretty much just taking the wing out, you can use pieces of paper and pins to keep the wings flat. I just use size triple zero inset pins because they're small and they work just fine. Um, but you can use like paper, like how you how you would uh, use paper to cover butterfly wings when they're spread to let them dry. So you can do that for grasshoppers as well. Um, so yeah. That this uh, that this process is straightforward. Um, so, as I said, a uh, short video, and uh, that's how to uh, that's how to pin uh, rest hoppers. So, got all that. Now I'm pin these ones up, and then uh, I'm gonna let them dry for a week or two. So I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions about uh, orthoptera pinning and spreading and displaying, feel free to comment below and I'll try and uh, answer the best I can. Um, so hope this helped you and uh, stay tuned for the next pinning video.